Hey you guys, alright, so it's 10.01, like always, I'm kind of tired, I've been doing a lot today, but, um, you know, I was scrolling through social media, I won't name the site, but someone popped up that is an advocate for anti knock abuse, and what she said reminded me of something that I thought only I thought about. She was talking about the narcissist and the way they smell, right? Now, let's get into it. I'm going to try to articulate this as best as possible, given the fact that I'm incredibly tired. But she said the narcissist had like a, like a stale smell. And um, she's a Christian too, and she reminded me, basically, just via listening to her, um... Even when you look, not just what she said, but even when I've seen people talk about how they died for a minute on, like, the operating table or something, and they went to hell and got the opportunity to come back, everyone, even down to Marilyn Manson, talks about how demons have a foul smell. Um, but in this case, she was talking about how it was a stale smell, and I was like, Oh my god, yes, demons do. Anything demonic has a very distinct smell. And it reminded me of when I was married to the narcissist. And you know when you like snuggle up to someone um, in the night and you like put your nose on their neck or their chest or whatever. I'm not trying to trigger anybody, but I'm just trying to set the tone and set the stage for what I'm trying to tell you. I always noticed that, and he took many showers, probably hoe baths because he was always fucking someone different. That wasn't me. But nevertheless, nonetheless... You would think that when you took a shower or something, you would smell like the soap or even that roly-poly roly roll-on um, oil that I told you I found in that infamous narcissistic backpack. You can smell the oil, but it never like saturated into his skin to where he had a smell. He never had... A distinct smell I mean I can describe his smell and I will in a minute but he never had the kind of smell where like you know when you break up with someone and they say for example always wore CK1 cologne right or unisex uh, cologne or something right so every time you smell that CK1 you think of them right he never had that he never had a smell that I was like, that's his smell. That smell is him, right? Every time, even if it was fresh out of the shower, where he he had long hair that he put in a ponytail, even with that, right? Every time I snuggled up to him or or put my nose around him, he always smelled like someone's grandmother's wet basement. What I mean is like concrete old things, old toys, something that was weathered, um, I can't really call it musty, but it was never the soap or the shampoo that he used, I mean, he brushed his teeth religiously, like, so much so that he brushed it, like, uh, it wasn't uncommon for him to brush his teeth, like, five, six, seven times a day, right, but you still didn't even smell that, you didn't smell the toothpaste, you didn't smell the, the, the shampoo, you couldn't smell the body wash on him, and you couldn't smell the roly-poly, you know, oil that he put on him. It always had like a basementy smell, a, a a dankness to it, like a like a something like just wet concrete. But your grandmother's basement, you got the point, right? And I was like, damn. You know, that's because they're possessed with a demon. More than likely, a demon that um, is centered around drugs, a demon that's centered around sex, a demon that's centered around 
um, just malice, a demon that's centered around greed, a demon that's centered around lust, a demon that's centered around jealousy and envy. I mean, you can basically bottle up all the seven deadly sins and call it a narcissist. If all the seven deadly sins could be uh, become a person, it will become the narcissist. But the smell... I smelled his hair after he washed it. It always still smelled like a mildew ponytail holder. It always smelled, he always smelled like must, like just a freaking basement. And I'm like, oh my God, someone else picked up on that. And I was eerily relieved to know that I wasn't the only one that noticed that he just never had a distinct smell other than that. That's the kind of smell that you don't smell often or ever. And when you do smell it, it takes your mind to something demonic. He never smelled delicious and good and like a specific cologne. Ever. Not even like lotion. Did you guys experience that? Or is it just me and this lady? Let me give you her a uh, handle. I mean, uh, um... She is, let me see, I believe she's on YouTube, and her channel is called The T on NPD. I don't know if she's for everybody, but I mean, at least I know that that's who I saw on this social media site that wasn't YouTube. And when she popped up and said that, total, total epiphany, total light bulb, like, went off in my head, and I'm like... Oh my God, no one has ever talked about that, that I know of. And yes, the narc never had a distinct smell. I guess you can call it distinct, but he never had a signature smell. You know, that was delicious and beautiful. He always smelled the same, like a fucking wet basement in someone's grandmother's house. And I believe that was the smell of the demon that was in him. And when I think back to a, the narc that I escaped before I met him, because it's very common to bump into narcs back to back until you develop some boundaries. And I, I, no shame in my game admitting that that's what happened to me. It was two narcs back to back. Him and the one before him. And the one before him, when I thought back to it, had the same smell. Like a wet basement. Like a dank, dark gray in color wet basement tell me what you think in the comments I mean this is such an interesting and intriguing topic but I had to admit it his smell was never a distinct beautiful smell it was always a dank basementy smell no matter what he washed with anyway love you guys have a good night